hello everyone in this video we are going to discuss about the operation of n channel jfn and its vi characteristics the operation of an n channel jfn here n channel jfn is taken n channel means the channel is of n type semiconductor and its gate is made up of p type semiconductor for a jfn its gate terminal or p regions are heavily doped and channel n type is lightly doped compared to gate compared to p type regions and for the normal operation of a junction field effect transistor its gate terminal must be reverse biased in the in uh, this two figures are shown the first one is with a gate source terminal reverse bias and dry source terminal is also reverse biased when we give the reverse bias to drain source terminal and vgg that means the voltage to gate source terminal is zero on giving the drain source voltage drain current starts flow drain current flows from drain to source terminal the direction of drain current is shown in the figure a the drain current starts flow from when vdd voltage is applied across drain source terminal and when vgg is increased above 0 volt the depletion region formed across the pn junctions in this two pn junctions are the and the depletion region at the pn junctions get grows it grows in more into channel if we increases the reverse bias across the gate source junction depletion region become more widen and more deeper into channel the depletion region are formed based upon the doping level in jfet the p type region are heavily doped and n channels are lightly doped so the depletion region form more into lightly doped region lightly doped region is n channel n channel type and the depletion region more deeper into channel channel region and less into p region based upon the voltage of at gate source terminal the depletion region width also varies the depletion width varies and the drain current reduces so the drain current can be controlled by varying the reverse voltage across the gate source junction second figure shows the depletion region touches each other and the drain current is zero in the second figure here the reverse bias voltage at gate source junction is very large at particular voltage these depletion region touches each other and block the current flow that process is shown in the figure b let us explain detail of the operation of n channel jfn reverse bias on gate source and drain source form the depletion region within the channel when reverse bias on gate source terminal equal to zero that means when vgg equal to zero and vdt greater than zero here a voltage is applied across the drain source terminal when vdd greater than zero and vgg equal to zero drain current flows from drain to source at this stage maximum current flows and this maximum drain current is represented by the letter i d s s that means the drain source current at saturation maximum current flows when vdd greater than 0 and vgg equal to 
and next stage is when reverse bias on gate is increased on increasing the reverse bias voltage at the gate terminal the depletion region become more widened this reduces the effective width of the channel and therefore we can control the flow of drain current through the channel next process is when vgs is increased further it increases more and more then the depletion region touches each other this is the shown in figure b and the two depletion region touch each other at this point the channel is completely blocked or pinched off here we use a term called pinched off and the and the drain current is zero when we increases the vgs more and more the vgs at which drain current is zero is called pinch off voltage represented by v subscript p pinch off voltage is vgs of so pinch off voltage is the gate source voltage at which drain current is zero pinch off voltage is negative for n channel jfet it depends on doping of n and p region of the device and width of the original channel structure next one is the characteristics of jfet characteristics of jfet are explained by two important characteristics they are vi or drain characteristics and transfer characteristics a set of curve which give the relation between current and voltage are known as characteristics curve let us move to the first portion vi or drain characteristics this curve give the relationship between drain current and drain to source voltage for different value of gate to source voltage and second characteristics is transfer characteristics which gives the relationship between drain current and gate source voltage for different values of drain to source voltage this is a circuit arrangement for taking or for or pl for plotting the jfet characteristics here the jfet is arranged in common source configuration means source is taken as common to both input and output input is given across the gate source terminal and output is taken from the drain source terminal in common source configuration to take the input voltage reading input voltage is vgs a voltmeter is connected in parallel across gate source terminal and to measure the output voltage drain source voltage a voltmeter is connected in parallel across drain source terminal and to measure the drain current an ammeter is connected in series with the drain terminal two resistor two potentiometers r1 and r2 are used to adjust the voltage gate source voltage and r2 to adjust the drain source voltage and first one is the drain characteristics drain characteristics is the characteristics which give the relationship between drain current and drain source voltage at constant vgs the drain source voltage is marked along the x axis and drain current is marked along y axis in y axis the drain current is represented in milliampere range gate source voltage are fixed at particular values of 0 volt minus volt minus 1 volt minus 2 volt minus 3 volt minus 4 volt this is the uh, represented in figure a in figure b this is the vi characteristics or drain characteristics of jfet when vgs equal to 0 so let us discuss in detail the vi characteristics at vgs equal to zero at vgs equal to zero vi characteristics of jfn its characteristics curve is divided into mainly four portions first portion oa 
is the omic region and second one a b portion and third one is b to c that region we call that it as pinch of for saturation region and fourth region c to d is the breakdown region here we get the graph by plotting the vds along x axis and id along y axis here we increase the drain to source voltage set by set and then take the corresponding drain current and plotted it in graph then we get the graph as shown in this figure in the region oa we call it as ohmic region why we call it as ohmic region because when we increases the drain source voltage in the region oa the drain current also increases linearly here the proportionality across drain uh, current and voltage is linear that means here the semiconductor act like a simple resistor it obeys ohm's law this is the ohmic region oa curve oa in the figure is the ohmic region then second one is the curve ab curve ab obeys the inverse square law rate River at reverse square low rate, the voltage in, when voltage increases, current increases slowly. When voltage increases, current decrease current increases slowly in the position A B. And at B region, pinch off occur and the constant current flow. From B to Z saturation region or pinch off region the constant current flows when we increases the drain source voltage more and more at point c the breakdown occur and the suddenly large amount of current flow occurs the breakdown at the point c is mainly due to avalanche let us uh, look into the ohmic region ohmic region is the curve oa in the figure here drain current increases linearly with the increase in radius it obeys ohm's law n type semiconductor bar acts like a simple resistor and in curve b drain current increases at square low rate with the increase in radius this in turn increases the reverse bias voltage across the gate source junction. As a result of this depletion region grown in size thereby reducing the effective width of the channel. We explain this in the operation of a JFET. At point B, channel width is reduced to a minimum value and is known as pinch off. The drain to source voltage at which pinch off occurs is known as pinch off voltage. Next region is the pinch off region or saturation region or constant region. The region shown by the curve BC, drain current remains constant at its maximum value IDSS. Pinch off region is the normal operating region of JFET because the constant amount of current flow. That's why we use this normal operating region or saturation region as an amplifier. And next one is an equation to measure the drain current. The drain current ID equal to IDSS. IDSS is the drain to source saturation current or maximum drain current when gate to source voltage equal to zero. IDSS is the drain to source current, maximum drain to source current when VGS equal to zero. So ID equal to IDSS into 1 minus VGS by VP whole square. VGS is the gate to source voltage. VP is the pinch of voltage. Pinch of voltage equal to VGS off. So ID equal to IDSS into 1 minus VGS by VP whole square. This equation is commonly called as Shockley equations. And next to region is the breakdown region. In breakdown region, it is the region shown by the curve CD. 
At this region, drain current increases rapidly as the drain source voltage is increased. It happens because of breakdown of gate to source junction due to avalanche effect. Voltage at point C is called breakdown voltage VBR. It is represented by VBR in the figure. And at point B, it is represented by pinch of voltage. At point C, it is represented by breakdown voltage. Next one is the effect of gate to source voltage on drain characteristics. Let us look into the figure A. In this, when we increase the gate to source voltage, we increase the gate to source voltage. First graph shows VGS equal to 0. Then below VGS equal to 0, VGS equal to minus 1. Below VGS equal to minus 1, the VGS equal to minus 2 graph. Then below VGS equal to minus 2, the, the graph of VGS equal to minus 3. Similarly, VGS equal to minus 4 graph is also shown in the figure. When we reverse biases, more reverse biasing than and gate to source voltage, the, the pinch of voltage reduces and it happens at small drain current. When VGS equal to 0, the pinch off occur at IDSS. When VGS equal to minus 1 volt, pinch off occurs at a low drain current. And when VGS equal to minus 2 volt, pinch off occur at a low drain current. Again, when we increase the VGS voltage, the drain current also increases at a drain current also increases. This is the effect of VGS on drain characteristics. When we increase the VGS above 0 to 1 to 3 and volt, uh, 4 volts, uh, pinch of voltage reaches at small value of drain current and VDS also decreased. This is the effect of VGS on drain characteristics or VI characteristics. Next one is the transfer characteristics. We can call the transfer characteristics as transconductance curve also. And in trans characteristics, we plot the drain current along y-axis and gate to source voltage along x-axis. At a constant gate to at constant drain source voltage, the transfer characteristics are plotted. Drain current is represented in milliampere range. When we increase the gate to source voltage means more reverse biasing on the gate to source voltages the drain current decreases at vgs equal to zero the we can see that through the channel maximum drain source current flows it is represented by the term uh, by the symbol idss so when vgs equal to zero the maximum drain current is idss when we increases the vgs then drain current become reduced and uh, when we increases the vgs and uh, when it reaches the pinch of voltage vp then the drain current becomes zero that is represented by vp then when we increases the gate source voltage and take the drain current and when it when we plot it on the graph we get the transconductance curve or transfer characteristics as shown in this figure this is this readings are taken at a particular drain to source voltage then in this next step we changes the drain to source voltage and we do all these procedures again at a constant drain to source voltage, when we increase the gate source voltage and take the drain current and plot it in graph, then we got the graph as a part of parabola. We get the graph as a part of parabola and it obeys the Shockley equations. ID equal to IDSS into 1 minus VGS by VP whole square. IDSS is the maximum drain to source current. ID is the drain current. VGS is the gate to source voltage. VP pinch of voltage. Transfer characteristics is also called a transconductance scan curve. Upper end is IDSS and lower end is VGS of 
this curve is represented by the expression id equal to idss into 1 minus vgs by vp whole square this is the shockley equation